There are fewer things that I love in this life more than a super awesome original Red One MX. As a matter of fact, I felt like I was the coolest guy in the world when I was able to finally buy this thing used. Me and my best friend even gave him a name. I'm not sure if you really wanna know his name, it's kind of silly. His name is Mustin with an M instead of Justin. Mustin McPoodlesmith. Mustin. This is old Mustin McPoodlesmith, and I love him so much. I've always told myself I'm never gonna get rid of him. I still shoot with him all the time to this day. The only problem is it weighs like 800 pounds. It's super heavy, you know, and you gotta have all this stuff just to even get it to work. You gotta have this battery, all these cables, monitors, hard drives. The list goes on. You need a lot of things to use this camera and it's just not really practical in this day and age anymore. So I figured what we'll do is we'll shoot it out against the pocket cinema camera, 4K, which is I'm using right now, so I can't really show you it. But uh, I figured what we're gonna do, I got the Rokinon lenses and I'm gonna put the same exact lens on each camera. I have a 24 and a 35. So what we'll do, we'll get a shot with a 35, pop it on the red and take it off, pop it on the pocket cinema and compare them both afterwards. The reason I do weird, stupid videos like this, I don't really know, it's just because I just, I want to convince myself to never sell my camera, my sweet Mustang. If I can keep making videos like this against the newest stuff every year, and the red still looks better, even though it weighs like 800 pounds, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. We're gonna go out, we're gonna compare the two cameras. I'll see you guys back here. We'll pull up the footage, we'll check it out, and uh, I'll give you my thoughts if you care. If not, you can just watch the footage and then peace out. All right guys, see you in a minute. Well, hey. Yes, hi, we're back. Yeah, and I'm in my gym is because I was going to sleep at like um, right now, but then yeah. I decided to finish this video, so hopefully. Well, it's a different day, so <laughs> anyways. Oh, and I'm wifey. So, if you thought that camera A was the pocket cinema camera and camera B was the red, you're right, it was. Yeah. What did you think? I think that it's pretty obvious. Red just looks right straight out of the camera so good like it looks like it's color corrected even though it's not yeah it looks just so much more saturated and and i would say it has more depth to it, it it's yeah. more organic the saturation you can turn up the saturation to any image it's just because something's saturated doesn't mean it's better uh the pocket cinema camera i'm pretty sure you could really if you wanted to color correct this to look like the exact same um but i don't know there's still there's something about the red one that's, I don't know, I can't describe it. There is more depth, I feel you on that, for sure. It also kind of looks almost like like a film. Yeah, it already looks like a movie right out of the camera. Let's go to the next one, let's see. Okay, uh, like the cool hay field or whatever you want to call it. And again, we see the same thing. It's more saturated right straight out of camera and it just has, has something, some, I don't know. Do you feel that, guys? Do you feel like red just has something? Yeah, I don't know, but the pocket cinema camera is no slouch. I mean, it looks awesome. It, it, Honestly, awesome. you can make an incredible film with either or. 
and the pockets in my camera is tiny. It's like this big. So. Yeah, and red. Oh my gosh, you need like five people to just carry this thing around. So it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is cool. I dig this. Um, you might notice it looks like the pockets in my camera has a little bit of a more shallow depth of field, and then that might be due to the speed booster that I have on there. Uh, they're both the you know the pocket cinema is a micro four thirds sensor, and the red is a super thirty five, and the speed booster I think is a little bit bigger than a Super 35, so that might be why you, you're getting a little bit more, less depth of field, and it looks a little more, um, I don't know. Dreamy. Dreamy, yeah, yeah. I think it's just different purposes. It's just, Pocket Cinema is really great, but probably just for different, maybe, movie genre or something, just different purposes, probably. Yeah, they both have different looks. Like, for me, when I pick a camera, I go off of how it makes me feel. Like, when I see the footage from the camera, I have like a feel, like for instance, let's go to the next one. The red just feels dense and really thick and heavy. I can't really describe it, but it feels like it weighs more, like it's a heavy ass picture. Uh, I don't know why that makes sense to me, but it does. It also feels like social network right straight from the camera. Yeah, or Contagion or all the other million <laughs> movies that have been shot on the red, it does look unmistakable. Like, uh, it's that look right off the bat. If you look at the pocket cinema camera over here, uh, oh, you notice the sky is brighter on one while well, it was getting dark when we had to go back in the car and switch the lens. <laughs> it actually looks like the dynamic range on the pocket cinema. If you look at like the public market sign and then compare it to the red or this F right here, you're retaining more detail actually with the pocket cinema camera. So it looks like there might be more dynamic range on the highlights for the pocket. Mm -hmm. But then look over here on over here on the red. Yeah, there is much more detail in the shadow. In the shadows on red, which is which is really crazy. Yeah, I actually think the red completely just kicks ass in low light. <laughs> well, I think they're pretty close still. I don't know. Like look here, still. Yeah, I mean, it's you're comparing apples to oranges at this point. <laughs> yes, you you can see that this sign is clearly it has different color than this sign and. I can't really tell which one is more true to life. Oh, to like how it looked yeah. while we were there? I think that probably... I like the way the red looks more. It looks instantly like I'm watching a movie. Like the moment I see it, it looks more cinematic to me. Well, on this exact screenshot, to me, it looks more cinematic on pocket cinema camera for some reason. No, you're wrong! <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, wifey. Okay, look at you being so moody all the time. Anyways, uh, I like the way the red looks here on this one more too. The red's obviously more green heavy and the pocket cinema is more magenta. You could easily go in and just tint it in the yeah. camera raw. But here's the weird thing. When you do it, it doesn't look like the red. It just starts looking green, if that makes sense. <laughs> There's something really, really, really interesting going on with the red's camera science. It, uh, not camera science, color science. Um, that's really cool. It just looks still like film a lot. Yeah. Like old school film, which is very interesting. Look organic. Too. Yeah, it's very organic for yeah. sure. Well, um, yeah. Well, that's all we got. That's it. That's our test. Sorry it wasn't very scientific or anything. <laughs> it's just for you to compare for yourself mostly and just decide which one do you like the most. Yeah. It's all about feeling. No, it's not all about feeling, but it is a lot about feeling. So. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, nowadays you can get a Pocket Cinema camera or a Red 1MX for, well, the Pocket Cinema is still a lot cheaper than a used <laughs> Red 1MX. Especially by the time you like rig everything up with a Red 1, you're still looking around five grand or so for a decent package. Yeah. But with a pocket cinema camera, by the time you're all rigged up, you're you're getting up there too. So, I mean, it's really whichever one you prefer. For me, I like them both. I'm not selling either camera. I wanna keep them both. Mm. Uh, I think so too. The one thing that I have to point out is that red is so heavy. Like if you are not a muscle or man, you'll have problems with well, that. Yeah, but no one, <laughs> everyone that, buying a red they know that they know it's heavy it's a movie making camera it's for making films and on film sets there's crew there's gaffers well, there's no yeah. but if you we were talking about for example short film like something you would like to do yeah. it would be much better to run around with pocket cinema camera it will be just 
Yeah, but that's for the lazy people that aren't willing to put in the work. Oh yeah, and pay like five crew people. Or just pick up the camera yourself. I've shot short films with our red. I, I can't imagine me doing that, for example. Like I will probably die in the next, in the first two seconds. Like look at that, what is that, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, well, uh, the next video will, I don't know. Maybe vlogging with the Red 1MX? Oh my gosh, I, I, I already feel me being dead. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see that? If you, let us know, we'll do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vlogging with Red, like, oh my gosh. At least we have long hands for this kind of thing. That's true. Arms, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, well, uh, we're gonna get back to work. We're gonna make some more videos. We're gonna do a lot more stuff and uh, we're gonna go to sleep now, I guess. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Yep, cheers.